Hello and welcome to another Bloom Masters video. In today's episode, we'll be talking all about Solosios. Remember, you can always go to our website at bloommasters.com to check out other information, more videos, and just great information about flowering annuals in the southeast. Okay, Solosia or Solosia, depending on how you want to pronounce it, is a beautiful flowering annual. It is from a small genus of edible plants. Uh, from the amaranth family. This originated from South America, Africa, and the West Indies, and all over Asia. But through cultivation, you can now find Seleucia all over the world. There are many different types of Seleucia. We're going to start with the kind that are edible. This is used as a food all over Africa, and the word Seleucia actually comes from an ancient Greek word meaning fire or burning which has to do with the flame-like blooms on the top of a celosia. It is also commonly known as a wool flower. For those of you who have seen the type uh, that's bloom is affected by fasciation, those are referred to as coxcombs, or you might know them as brain celosias. They look kind of like a brain coral. Um, I don't have any of those examples here today. Um, also, from the East African highlands, these plants have been used as a food for years and years, and they are commonly known by their Swahili name of Mfungu. So that's a little fun fact for you. In Mexico, there are celosias there that are used in making soups and different food items, and it is known as a velvet flower there. Um, it is used for its nutritious green leaves, almost like a lettuce. And in some parts of the world, certain Seleucia's leaves are boiled down and kind of have like a spinach-like, sauteed spinach flavor almost. Um, in Nigeria, they use this plant. It's one of the most commonly used leafy plants. And it has a local name that actually translates to me, makes husband fat and happy. So this is a plant that is eaten worldwide, not so much here in the United States, but its origins definitely come from the dinner table. Um, as far as a flower is concerned, celosias are a great flower for spring and fall here in the southeast. Um, they must be deadheaded. So you have three different types of celosias here today. We have this, which is the intense variety of celosia. It is a vegetative variety. Uh, does extremely well here in the fall. It likes these longer days to bloom so early spring doesn't really want to flower as much better fall flower um, gets woody like other celosias check out our video on deadheading flowers to get more details but these flowers must be deadheaded you can come in here they have very woody stalks so use a good pair of cutters they need to be deadheaded about every four weeks in the landscape or they will not last your full three months uh, the next solution we have down here is going to be your bronze leaf red. This variety is new look red, Not beautiful plumed flower heads. It's another one that when it needs deadheading about every four weeks, you must come in and cut out the old blooms to get your three month. Uh, the next series down is going to be your fresh look. This is the fresh look mix. It has a nice bright green foliage contrasting against bright colored plumes. Another plant must be deadheaded every four weeks, coming in with a good sharp pair of snips. Um, Solutions must be in the full sun. They do not do well in any type of shade. Uh, they also do not like wet feet. So any wet areas, areas that don't dry down, please don't choose Solutia. You're going to have problems. Other than that, we hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on other videos to come at bloommasters.com. And any other questions you have, please let us know. Thank you and have a great day.